hello all in this video we are going to learn some basic steps about bigquery so first what is bigquery so bigquery is like google's enterprise data warehouse that is fully managed and google will take care of all the backend infrastructure and you don't need to worry about any infrastructures or virtual machines uh, to run your queries or like to store your data so let's get started uh, with a bigquery so from the navigation menu just scroll down and go to the bigquery you will land on a bigquery ui page so now we will learn how to create a sample data set in the bigquery so this is your bigquery ui i assume like you are having like a gcp free trial of a 300 dollar which is of uh, three months so you will get a free access to gcp projects okay uh, now I am in this my GCP project. Once you click here, you will get option here to create data set. So data sets are a data mart which contains multiple tables. So you need to create a data set and then inside data set, you can create your tables. So we'll learn how to create a data set and tables in BigQuery and how to run your sample queries. Okay, I'll start with creating data set. So I'll just click on the create data set here and we can give the data set as a query demo okay the data location i'll keep as a default you can choose your location and we can give the default table expiry for now i'm not choosing anything and i'll create as a default data set demo data set so you could see now the bq demo it's created here now i'll create a table inside it so now in we are in a data set so it will show the information about data set in this page uh, so here you could see the data set id created expiry date last modify and the default location is taken as a us so now we can create a table by clicking this as a create table okay then we can so now uh, we can create table either empty table or we can export our csv data so for now i am exporting my csv files and loading data into the bigquery so i'll click on the create table and here i'll click upload so either you can upload from from your computer or you can put it in a cloud storage bucket so i'm uploading from my computer i already downloaded a sample csv file for like uh, 10,000 records so you can download it from google or you can have your own csv files so i clicked on up upload the file i'll just browse my file so my file is in my system okay so my file is in csv format once you choose the file it will take the file format automatically and i'll give the demo uh, table name as a sales table name or like a demo table table name as a demo and we can click the auto detect schema so it can take uh, auto detect uh, the fields and like a format of the fields and partition i don't want any partition and i'll click on the create table so it will create one load job so you could see load job created okay and now the demo table is created here so you can preview your tables data using these preview features and there are you can see the thousands records in this preview okay now you can query this table once you query it will give the format of your query and here you can see uh, once you write your query it will show the syntax here if it is green if i made any syntax mistake or any spelling mistake suppose i'll add one more m here it will give me the error like some mistake in my query or like i don't give the star here it will throw me the error so it's good thing for sql developer to check their syntax in bigquery because the bigquery the cost is occurred during the query run each execution of the query 
so without running our query we can check the basic syntax uh, in this ui okay now suppose let's uh, thousands record or i'll take just the 10 record and i'll run so i got the first 10 records here so the best part about a uh, big query is like now uh, you could see here the query completed in 0.4 second and 3.1 mb data processed and once we run the query it store the results in cache so if i run the same query again it will not go to the processing again it just give me the result from the cache memory so how we can get that so let me show you i'll rerun the same query again and now currently it's showing 3.1 MB data processed and 0.4 if I run the same query again it will show me the result you can see it now so you could see the 0, 0.0 second elapsed and cache it so if you are running the query second time it will not process the data again it just give the result from the cache memory and as this is the columnar storage so always remember even you give here limit 10 or 100 it will not save your cost because even if you give 110 it's processing the 3.10 mb complete data and your bigquery cost is occurred uh, based on your data processed or like a bytes read so for that we need to select the column if you want to save the cost then you need to just choose the column which you are required like suppose here you are giving 100 or like complete 10,000 also it's using the same 3.1 MB data it's processing so suppose I am giving the employee only the column name I want so I am giving here employee ID comma first name so now you could see it's only 145 154 KB of data it's processed so if I run the query again it give me the result okay and it's like 154 data processed in 0.4 second if i run the same query again so now it's give the 0, 0.0 seconds it's cache it results so that's it for now and we will learn about other bigquery feature and access control in our next lecture thank you for watching the video